But, yo, let me get to it. The, the, the reason why I called you, obviously, Conor McGregor got choked out by Khabib at UFC mm-hmm. 229. First of all, did, did, you, did you even watch it, or did you just watch some highlights of it, or did you uh-huh. hear about it? Um, no, no, no. I, I, I watched, uh, I watched, uh, you know, I was at a party and, you know, I was, I was watching with some friends and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at, a, at a place in Manhattan, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. Um, was, uh, was, uh, a good card. Um, I was, um, my, my guy Anthony Pettis got beat by Tony Ferguson, you know, but Pettis gave a good fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ferguson's, I saw Rashad Holloway in Ferguson's corner, so, you know, shout out to, uh, Rashad Holloway. He's doing yeah. a great job with Ferguson's striking. Mm-hmm. I thought Ferguson's striking was really, really superb. And that's credit to Rashad Holloway, who's a former, former Walter Lake uh, pro fighter himself. Yeah, you know, from from like, from uh, yeah. from Cincinnati, Ohio. I believe. Yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep, exactly. yep. So you know, shout out to him as well. He was in the corner of Ferguson, and he's making a big difference on that team as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I did see the 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 McGregor fight with Khabib, and uh, my my I didn't really have a conclusion about it. It's what I've been saying. I mean, I don't know how, how many of these bitches got to keep like doubting what I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? This guy got no balls. He's got no character. And he showed it in the fight again, you know. When you're a pussy, it's always going to come out when you're, you're in combat sports. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you can, only hide, you can only hide that fact for so long because you're going to get pressed to the point where you're going to have to show some balls, you know. Mm-hmm. Not every fight you, is, is a fight where you're going to get away with, like, being the more skilled guy. Because let's face it, McGregor has some skills in mixed martial arts. So, you know, some of the fights he doesn't have to push to the wall, his back to the wall and say he's going to have to dig down and, and show something. You know, he's got to show some character. So not all the fights does he have to show character, but... You know, you're in combat sports long enough, it's going to get to the point where you're fighting guys that are always going to put you in that position where you're going to have to show character. Mm-hmm. This guy, I've, I've been saying it for a while, is going to go down as the most overrated guy in mixed martial arts history. You know, he, he was, his ass, his ass continually, continuously signed checks that it, he, he, he continuously signed checks that his ass didn't cash. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, continuously, continuously. He had an overhyped record. Uh, on the come up, you know, on the come up, you know, he'd be some decent guys, but really what, what, what guys that he, did he beat that are going to put him in the Hall of Fame? What guys did he beat that he's going to be in the Hall of Fame? And don't give me the 175 year old Jose Aldo, because that doesn't count, because Jose Aldo was 175 years old and he was already shot. You know what I'm saying? So don't give me the Jose Aldo fight. You know what I'm saying? So right. aside from that, you know, what wins does he have that you say, oh my God, right? this is a great fighter? Like, there's been so much better fighters in mixed martial arts history. Like, this, they, this is the most overhyped guy in, in combat sports history. But yeah, mixed martial arts. You know, you understand this guy lost two of his last four fights. He was talking about him like he's a, he's a pound for right. Plus he got stunned in boxing. Plus he got stunned in boxing too, and mm. he got stunned in the gym too by by journeyman and myself. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was he, he's everybody's pinata. Like I I've been saying it. Like this guy's everybody's pinata. Like everybody just beats the fuck out of this guy. Not only beats the shit out of him because you know what? You know what it is, Ben? I'll tell you something. If you lose with some dignity and lose with some character. You know what a Surrogati used to lose a lot, but he had character, he had balls. You know what mm. I mean? He used to make you respect him even if he lost. Mm. This guy constantly losing with no balls, bro. The choke wasn't even on his throat last night. Did you watch that? I did. The choke wasn't even on his throat. He, he tapped out before the choke was even in. He, was, he couldn't wait to get out of that fight. He couldn't, he couldn't tap out fast enough. Like, the choke wasn't even on his neck and he was already tapping out. Did you see that? I did, he was I did. Trying to, he, he was already trying to, trying to give his back from round two. Khabib was there to punish him. You see how Khabib was preventing him from giving his back? Yeah. Oh, guys, let you give, when you give your back, you're, you're giving up. He did that with Nate Diaz, too, if you remember. Just right away, he just gave his back. So he shot in. He was, he was dying to get choked out. Mm-hmm. Khabib was like, nah, my man, you're not giving me your back. I'm going to punish you tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if you watch from round two, he's already attempting to give his back from round two. It's just he, Khabib wouldn't let him give his back. He, mm-hmm. Khabib, Khabib didn't want him to quit. Khabib wanted to punish him and beat the shit out of him and bring the bitch out of him. And that's what I said. I said that's what I said about this fight. There's no way he's going to survive. He's too much of a bitch to survive. There's no way he's going to survive a ground the pound because Khabib is not going to let you off the hook. Nate Diaz's jiu-jitsu is just too good. He's going to let you off the hook. And you can shoot it in like he did with, uh, with Diaz in, in that fight. He shot in just because he knew he would be submitted once he shot in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he'd be put out of his misery. Khabib is not that merciful, bro. Khabib just wants to beat the shit out of you. And plus, he got on the Khabib skin so bad. And you know what? You know, you know, you know how it is with boxing, right, Ben? I mean, these Eastern Europeans—they're so, they're so stoic. You know, they're, they're so emotionless. They're so ice in their veins type of fighters. You know, they—they are the dominant species in boxing right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Eastern Europeans in boxing and I think in combat sports in general, they're just born fighters. You know, they're emotionless and they're skilled and they're disciplined and all that. So, you know, all the antics that Connor does and whatnot, Khabib just took it all. He took it all, took it all. But you think he wasn't saving it up, bro? Mm-hmm. You think this guy wasn't saving it up? It was like a walk in the park for him. He didn't sit down between rounds. After every round, he was talking to him. Mm-hmm. He was having a conversation with the referee while they were on the ground. Like, <laughs> like, like he, it was, it was such a nonchalant.
nonchalant ass whooping. Like, he made a total bitch out of this guy. And then on top of it, and then on top of it, his posse beat the fuck out of Eric Connors' posse, too. Like, just to make matters worse, like, they, they made big not, Did you see when he jumped out of the, the only guy, yo, I'll give Dylan that his credit for. He actually tried to fight him off. Right, you know right, but, right. But, like, but dude, look at Owen Roddy and, 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 and John Kavanaugh. They didn't know which direction to run first, bro. They didn't, they didn't know where to run, bro. They, look at Owen Roddy and John Kavanaugh when that guy jumped out of the, out of the cage, bro. Well. Fucking, the only one that was fighting was Dylan Dennis. So, I mean, I'll give him credit because he would have got his ass whooped, too, if, 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 if uh, Khabib would have got his hands on him. But shit, at least he's trying to go out fighting, bro. Right. John, Owen Roddy and, and John Kavanaugh didn't know which direction to run. Did you watch them? <laughs> well, John Kavanaugh tried to, John Kavanaugh tried to run back in the cage. Owen Roddy tried to run into the crowd somewhere. Like, like, what's going on with these guys? Meanwhile, oh. Khabib guy, Khabib posse jumping in the cage and beating the shit out of Connor. Like, Connor just, yo, know, you just got disrespected like the bitch you are, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that, but you had that, when you're a bitch, that's what, nobody's going to respect you. That's what you got that coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gets crazy. That, did you, did you see the stand up part of the fight? Khabib was better standing up than he was. He Khabib dropped him. him. He <laughs> dropped him. <laughs> Khabib, yeah. like these people thought this guy was boxing. These people thought this guy was outboxing me. Right. Khabib, right. who's not known to stand up, was outboxing him. And he punched the shit out of him and even dropped him with a shot. <laughs> you mean, I mean, this guy was a, made a total mockery of everybody. But, but the, what's more important is, what's more funny is his fans, his pussy fans actually believe in this guy. Like, how stupid do you feel? This guy has no balls. No skill. Couldn't wait to get the fuck out of that fight as soon as it started last night. And his pussy corner was all a bunch of pussies too. Like, can you imagine? Like, they just, they got sunned up, down, left, right, and center. I mean, it was like, it was, I was embarrassed for them, bro. I was embarrassed for them. Cause, 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 and then, Khabib, did you see Khabib when he got, when, I think he spit on him too. Like, talk about getting done like a bitch. Did you see Khabib when, when the ref's pulling him off? It looks like he spits on top of him too. Like, well, yeah, and 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 the key word was the ref was pulling him off. Like he didn't, he didn't even yeah. look like he wanted to let go of that choke. No, like. bro, that's <laughs> what I, bro. Think about it. Think about it. You've been doing this for how long? You know, you're calling him a dog. You're calling him a rat. Mm. You attack the bus on fight week. Like on fight week of his last fight, you attack the bus. Like, right. you know, the guy's not gonna get out of the bus to fight you. He's got a he's got a title to win. He's got to win the title that you got stripped of because you were a bitch and you didn't want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? So. He's not gonna get himself injured and come out of the bus fighting you when he's fighting in three days. You know what I'm saying? But mm. so like all of a sudden, like all his pussy fans, oh you see Khabib was scared, he didn't come off the bus. Go, Khabib took all that. And again, I go back to my assessment of Eastern Europeans. They are totally emotionless. Mm. But they are the scariest guys to fight and they're the dominant species in combat sports. You will get not a reaction from them, but bro, when they ring that bell, you better bring your balls times 20, bro. And <laughs> when you have no balls, when you're Conor McGregor and you're known to have no balls, it's your fucking ass, bro. He got the shit beat out of him and, and, and embarrassed on top of it. And then he got spit on on top of it, too. He, he quit like a bitch. He couldn't wait to tap out. They didn't let the choke even come in. At least, bro, at least get your neck up in the air and let him choke you out. At least make it, make it legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you did, like, you did with Nate, like you did with Nate. With Nate, you just open your neck up, you get him choke you, and, and it was over. You know, like, yeah. like, make it legit, you pussy. Like, you know, it's almost over for you. He was going to put you out. He, he was so scared that he wasn't going to get choked out because cause Khabib was keeping him in the fight. That's, that's why I... I Honestly, that's why I think Khabib was so mad because he was like, "Fuck, this guy tapped out." You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't even through with him yet. You know, let me go fuck his corner up now. Fuck it. You know. <laughs> yo, yo, but yo, like, but, but yo, speaking of speaking of him, you know, going and fucking up his corner. I, it, I, I know after the fight was over, a lot of people they you know they were quick to to put the blame on him for you know taking it too I, far. I, I know. What's, yeah, yeah. What's going on with that? What's going on? Did they withhold only his person, not Connor's? Because Connor was there in the in the, in the cage trying to act like a tough guy until he got his ass kicked by the by the by his voice. You know? Well, I don't, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're officially gonna like, do. It, but it, 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 it ain't, it ain't like Connor was fucking it. Connor was trying to act like a tough guy until he got put it, until he got checked. Well, know, I know, I know. Connor, the Khabib posse came in and started smacking him around. You know, well, like, I, he got two ass whippings last night. He got his ass kicked <laughs> by Khabib, and then guy Khabib posse came in and fucked him up a little more. <laughs> well, I know Connor was actually he he jumped up on the cage and i think he actually threw a punch at um yeah. habib's brother first i think yeah and then and then the rest of the guys got in and be like listen buddy don't come out of pocket you just got your ass whooped you're about to get right. your ass whooped again right right <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he did he took he he a couple more than he was and you see the bitch that he was he didn't react to those he just kind of covered up like a bitch <laughs> <laughs> what a oh, pussy shit. bro i can't uh, how stupid this guy's fans gotta be how, how much of a pussy do you have to be to have been a fan of this guy and i realized like Realize the pussy you've been cheering for the whole time. I realized that I was right the whole time. 
You know, you, I, said, I, I told you, you, this you I, were. Told, I told everybody this guy's got no balls, and this fight is going to prove it once again. He's not going to get through this fight because Khabib does not put you out of your misery. He just keeps ground and pounding you. He doesn't submit you, so you're going to have to quit. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he couldn't wait to get out so fast. So once he even had a hand for choke, and he's like, all right, let me tap out. Let me tap out. You know? <laughs> he, he, was, he was scared the choke wasn't going to get him good enough, though, or he was going to let him go, and then he was going to have to fucking fight another round. You know? Oh, so he was uh, like, all right, he's got a hand for choke, and I'm going to tap. You know, I'm going to tap. Wow, well, uh, bro! I wish I could have. I wish I, I could have been. Over. I wish I could have been in the same room with you watching this fight while you were watching no, it. No, I honestly, honestly, honestly I'm, I'm, I'm very observant. I'm just very quiet. Honestly, I wasn't talking. A lot of people were right. in there. I wasn't talking. You know, people look at me like, "Oh, what do you think?" I'm not thinking anything. But I'm going to watch it. I, right. watched, I told you what I said from the beginning of the fight. He's got no balls, and he's going to quit because he's got no balls. When you got no balls, well, you can't train for that. You can. You can. I don't care how much you're mountain biking. I don't care how much you're training. And at the end of the day, as soon as you hear deal with some adversity, no matter how hard you train. As soon as you deal with a speck of adversity, mm. you will, your no balls quality will show itself because that's just who you are. You can't train that part of your body. You know what I'm saying? Because it's your mind. So I told people, you know, like people are like, oh, listen, I'm going to watch this fight and he's going to quit. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to tell you. He's going to quit. You know, it, yeah. it was easy money. He was, he's going to quit. You know, it's, 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 he's, you can't deal with that guy. Khabib deals his Khabib's best quality on top of all the wrestling and the physicality that he has. It's his mental strength, bro. Mm. You see that guy? He was determined to punish this guy. He, again, it was like a walk in the park for him. He wasn't sitting between. And yo, who the fuck is that commentator? What is his name? Uh, Cruz? What is, what, what is it? Uh, Dominic Cruz? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Bro, I think. Uh huh. Can you tell him to swallow at least before he's, when, when he's done blowing time? So, so, so we can get, so we can get like a real commentating game? Like he was just, he was, he had so much water in his mouth from Connor that he couldn't stop giving the guy fucking credit. Like he didn't give Khabib, he didn't give Khabib credit for anything until like the beginning of the fourth round when the fight was almost over. Like, mm. Khabib, yo, you, you, he just kept praising and the guy just kept getting his ass whooped and all he kept doing was praising and then he was criticizing Khabib like Khabib's gonna get tired. Oh, are you watching this fight? It's so one-sided. How the fuck are you seeing anything else? Like, mm. what the fuck are you watching? You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and like, you know, even Joe Rogan who was like, you know, who I sometimes disagree with he was calling like it is. He's like, yo, this is getting his ass whooped right now, you know? The only mm -hmm. thing I didn't really disagree I disagreed with Joe Rogan was after the fight. Listen, I don't think anybody can criticize Khabib after the fight because after the bus incident, where was he, where's the criticism for the bus incident? You know what I'm saying? With, with, uh, when, when Connor went after the bus and, and through the gate and everything. Yo, mm -hmm. this guy did not react once in six months to a year. He did not react once. Right, right, he right. He saved it all for last night, okay? So don't tell me now he was in the wrong because all the Connor built up he, Khabib just saved it up, saved it up, and, saved it up. And Connor said a lot of things. shit. He talked about his dad. Yeah. He talked. He said a lot yeah, of shit. Like, Daddy, mm -hmm. hold the fucking don't, don't come out of pocket and then and then be a bitch when it comes down to it. And your fans too, and all your all your all your fans and all your groupies don't, don't, don't become bitches now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You thought it was all fun and games when when he was throwing shit through the bus and Khabib didn't react and and then he was fine. You were laughing when when he was making fun of uh, Khabib's family and his dad or whatever. Don't. Don't, don't 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 become a bitch now. You know mm -hmm. the guy had a cup to him, and mm -hmm. and and, and, you, and bitches get dealt with like bitches. You know what I'm saying? Because because if you had any kind of balls, you would have went out fighting last night after all the shit you talked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any kind of balls at all, you'd have went out fighting like a man. But mm -hmm. like I said, you can get respect losing. It's not about winning and losing all the time. You know, obviously winning is the most important thing, but it's not about winning and losing all the time. Even if you get dealt with and you get beat, go out like a man. Mm -hmm. Say, go out fight. Go out like a man. You know, you can get beat. You can even get stopped. But go out like a man. Like I said, I bring up a turtle guy. He always went out like a man. He used to get stopped and knocked out and stopped, whatever. But he used to win a lot of fights as well. But he would always go out like a man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, this guy goes out like anything but a man. He's such a pussy. And that's why, as, as, if you keep supporting him, you, you got to be a pussy at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be a pussy that falling for anything for his videos that he made of me. Like, yeah, at this point, watching Khabib outbox him standing up was, is, 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 the, is the last third of it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. that's, the, that's, the, that's the cherry on top after all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he couldn't even, he couldn't even beat Khabib at standing up, which was, which was supposed to be his, his, uh, his forte, you mm -hmm. know, with, with, him, with, with him standing up. Khabib was, out, was, out, was beating him at standing up as well, you know? He couldn't show any power. Landing could be landing clean on Khabib. What did I say? Everything I said was right. Landing clean on Khabib, Khabib was laughing at him. I mean, mm. you, you think this guy dropped me? And how much of a bitch do you have to be if you were in boxing? You thought that was a knockdown on top of that. Like, you, <laughs> how much of a bitch do you have to be? Like, when you know technique wise, his, his back was coming off the ground. You know that if it was a knockdown, he wouldn't have to change camera angles the last second when, I, when I'm going down. Like, mm. he would just leave the camera angle, angle where it is. Mm. Instead of changing two camera angles just to, sell them, just to sell it as a knockdown. Like, how much of a bitch do you have to be if you were a boxer and you fall for it? You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you fall for it once or twice, all right. And if you're a group and you fall for it, how much of a bitch do you have to be if you're a boxer? How much of how much shitty of a fighter do you have to be to expose yourself? 
and you don't even know understand the technique of it like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that you actually watch it and be like, you must be a pretty shitty fighter if you couldn't tell from from for after watching it once or twice that there's a lot of flaws in that fucking supposed knockdown. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But again, we can go on and on about this. Uh, the bottom line is, the bottom line is what I've been saying. You know, this guy has no balls, and he was gonna prove it last night. I mean, it was it, it was like it, it, it was it was a, it was a guarantee because. You know, he wasn't going to suddenly grow a pair of balls last night. You know, not not against bad guys. You know what I'm saying? So, right, right. So, at, at the end of the day, you know, you, you got what you kind of figured you were going to get if you had any brains. You know, like, mm. the only hype about this was that he's overhyped. You know, he's always overhyped. He's always been overhyped. You know, this guy is the most over, overhyped guy in combat sports history. But it probably falls more into the stupidity of mixed martial arts fans, you know, more so than anything else. Because, you know, if a guy in boxing gets beat as often as this guy gets beat, or even, or even, Gets beat by guys taking fights on last minute notice, like Nate Diaz fight. Oh, or that's a wrap. Gets beat by guy, or almost gets beat by Chad Mendez, who took the fight on three days notice, and, and and just barely, barely got beat. You know, he stopped him in, in round two only because Chad was tied because mm. right, he took the fight on three days notice. But Chad actually won the first round against him. Like, bro, you look that bad, even if against like, can you imagine Floyd fighting guys on the last minute and oh, barely and barely beating them or or getting <laughs> beat by them? You know, like they try to hype this guy like Floyd. Like it's like night and day. No, this. This guy is such a pussy. Did you see the Eric Kelly video, by the way? Did you see Eric Kelly video? I see on his Instagram or his Facebook. You know, you no, know Eric Kelly, right? No, huh? Uh-uh. Oh, he can't. He yeah, was yeah. at a bar watching the, watching the fight last night, uh, you know, with a bunch of Irish people and a bunch of, like, mixed martial arts fans. Oh, and it was an shit. Irish guy crying. It was an Irish guy. And he, Eric was consoling. You know, Eric's a good guy. A good guy you know, and he, Eric was consoling him. And, uh, and this guy's crying like a little bitch, you know, that his guy got beat. I mean, I don't know how to understand how. I'm just saying how you didn't expect it last night, but he's crying like a little bitch that his guy got beat. And Eric's consoling him. Eric's a good guy. He's consoling him. But I think consoling him, he's saying, boy, they never tap, bro. Boy, they never tap. I he talking to him. He's saying, yeah, yeah, I see. I saw it. The Floyd never tapped. Never... <laughs> <laughs> That's savage. That is savage. Wow, wow. Oh, man. That's crazy. But, but, but I think at this point, you know, uh, yeah, like I, I, I've, all, I will always, you know, I've, I, my eye is basically that of a broadcaster, but I've always been a very observant fighter, and that's why I, I was always trying to be the, the smartest fighter I could to make up for any other flaws that I had, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And so, in observing things. The, the first thing I would always observe about a fighter is character, because that's got to be your foundation. No matter how much skills you have or how much skills you may lack, mm-hmm. your character can make a difference sometimes in fights. And, and Connor never had any character, and that's why I said the no balls thing. The no balls is always going to show itself. When you have no balls, there's nothing you can do about it, bro. You know, you have no balls, you know? And so, so when, when you're going to, when you're going to face adversity, that will always show itself. It right? always show itself. And, and honestly, Khabib doesn't get a lot of stoppages. He usually ragdolls you all over the place mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and, and will go the distance, you know? But yeah. he doesn't get a lot of stoppages, you know? He's, he's a guy who's undefeated, and he's very difficult to deal with, and he's, and he's always going to be very difficult to deal with, I think. But, but he's not a guy who actually puts you out of your misery. He, he punishes you. Mm-hmm. So because he's a punisher kind of guy, you got to have balls just to get through the fight, you know? Because he's not going to put you out of your misery. You got to put yourself out of your misery by quitting, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Connor became one of the rare stoppages of I mean, Khabib's career. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, don't, I don't think Conor Khabib has uh, like a crazy amount of stoppages. And, and they, what his fights had gone had been stoppages lately, of, of late, as, his, as the level of opposition had risen. But this guy, sure enough, put this bitch in with him, and he, <laughs> and he was out. He was out, he was out as fast as he could get out. So, like I said, he didn't, even wait for the ta- he didn't even wait for the choke to be properly put in. That motherfucker, oh, it's half a choke, I'm passing. You know, because God forbid Khabib let the choke go just to let him survive, you know? And he, <laughs> And I, honestly, I think like I think he realized he Khabib was trying to punish him because he was trying to get his back from round two. Or you watch Khabib Connor's trying to turn his back from round two when he's on the floor. Yeah, Khabib's not letting him. Khabib, Khabib's trying to keep him on his back so that he can keep ground the pound with him. Mm-hmm. And then in the fourth round, he does it again, but he finally manages to swallow around because he's like, all right, fuck this. Let me just put a choke on this guy. Mm-hmm. You know? And mm-hmm. he didn't even put it in that good. You know? I think it was some kind of neck crank or something, which I'm sure hurt. Yeah. The guy, oh, the guy did the choke. Come on, pussy. Yeah. Are you going to call this shit? You were, hey, bro, at least, like, it's got to be in the back of your mind, bro. You know, like, I remember fighting Miguel Cotto. I told a lot of shit, bro. Then I was in there, and I was fucking taking some fucking hellacious shots. And I'm like, you know what, bro? I got myself into this. I got to deal with it, bro. Mm. I got to fight my way out of this, you know? Mm. And I may have lost the fight, but I went out fighting the whole way. I may have lost the fight, you know? But but the whole time, I told myself, no way I'm going to give this guy a satisfaction after all the shit I told that he's gonna fucking get me out of here. No way, because I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna keep myself alive in here, and I'm gonna swing back any chance I get and let him know that I'm here. You know, oh, bro, you I, were, I you, took you, a handful. Of, I was also in spots winning rounds because I was just fighting out of with pure anger and determination. You know, what I mean? 
you you're bro, you're thirty years old, bro. You're not a shot thirty five, forty years old. Like mm. what are you doing becoming combat sports official pinata at thirty years old? Like what are you doing? Like you're still close to me in your prime age at thirty. You're officially combat sports pinata. Mm. Like everyone just takes a turn beating the shit out of you, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Last couple of years, Nate Diaz, right? Nate Diaz choked him out. Bailey wins the rematch, could have been either way. Boy smacks him around in boxing. But even in the training camp for the boxing, no matter what everybody thinks about, wants to disbelieve about this guy's, everybody's gullible fans about this guy's video, everybody in camp was beating the shit out of him, too. Or if they weren't beating the shit out of him, it's because they were going easy on him. Mm. And he got his ass whooped by Floyd, you know? Then he got his ass whooped when he got arrested in, uh, in New York as well, you know, when, uh, when, uh, when the cops arrested him. He looked like it made himself look like a retard. Mm. Then he, get, he, gets the, he gets the Connor fight. I mean, he gets the Khabib fight. He gets his ass whooped by Khabib. Then on top of it, he gets his ass whooped. His whole posse gets his ass whooped by Khabib's posse. And then on top of it, Khabib's posse comes in and smacks him around a little more too, just to add insult to injury. <laughs> then he gets he gets done like a bitch the whole way. He quits. He quits in the Floyd fight. He quits in the Nate Diaz fight. He quits in the Khabib uh, Khabib fight last night. Mm. Gets takes a spit in the face after be after laying down like a bitch at the end of the fight. You know, like and watches as his. As the team gets assaulted by Khabib's team, then tries to play like half a tough guy, gets smacked around, then gets checked again, but gets smacked around back in place. Like, oh, easy. You, you don't come out of pocket. You just got your ass whooped. It'll make us fuck you up again. So they started punching the shit out of him a little more. And he, and he right away, he got back in check. He stopped resisting and he didn't do shit. Mm. You know? Mm. Uh, he was just dumb like a bitch. You know what? You know, it was basically the proper ending for the bitch that he was. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this is, this is how a bitch goes out. You know? Like, oh. like a bitch. You know? And, and, and that's, and last night, I think that people are like, oh, you must be sad. No, I'm not satisfied. I don't, it's not a matter of satisfaction. It's just a matter of being like, no, I, I, I almost want him to prove me wrong at a certain point because so many people like doubted what I was saying about him. Mm-hmm. I, I, I almost want him to prove me wrong and be like, you know what? Even if he loses, if he goes out like a man right now, you know what I'm saying? If he goes out like a man in this fight, you know, he might prove me wrong. You know, I might have to say, you know what? He does have some balls. Mm-hmm. But bro, it's fucking sure as the sun will come up in the morning. This motherfucker will bitch up in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you just gotta get him there, bro. If you just gotta get him there, this pussy motherfucker is gonna bitch up at the end of the day. No matter what, if no if ands or buts. If he got a guy who can push him to the limit, he will bitch up and fold like a beach chair every time. And that's what he did last night. Wow, yo, you've been saying it ever since you went in camp with him. I mean, you, at least when you talk to me, like you've been I saying. Said, it. I'm- but Ben, but Ben, I, I, I'm very observant. That's why I became a broadcaster because I'm very observant and people mm-hmm. love my observations. But I've always been observant, even as I was a fighter, even I'm watching guys before I was, I was, uh, I was a broadcaster. My mind has always been very observant when it comes to patterns, when it comes to characters. Mm-hmm. When I used to study my opponents, before I used to study their actual, their actual techniques and how, the, kind of, the kind of fighters they were technique-wise, I, the first thing I would look for was how would they approach round one to 12? How mm-hmm. was their mental approach? You know, I might... My first thing I would study about any of my opponents was how mentally strong were they? You know, was there any fold in them at any point during any, any round of any fight? Was there any fold in them when they took a big shot? Did they actually get more mad when they took a big shot and actually raise their game when they took a big shot? Did they lower their game or diminish themselves when they took a big shot? You know, like, I would look for char- character before anything else. And then after I decided on their character, I would study their their, their technical, their technique. You know, that's mm-hmm. how I always study my opponents. You know, every single po- opponent, top opponent that I fought, that's how I would study them. And that would be the basis of, 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 and the order of things I would study. It always started with character first. Because without character, you can have all the other things. I just gotta, I just gotta make you suffer and, you're, and, and none of the other things is gonna matter anymore. You mm-hmm. know, if you don't have character, I just, I, let me just make the fight really difficult. No matter what, no matter how many good things you do, let me just try to make the fight as difficult as possible and you're gonna fold. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so, other things aren't going to matter if you have no character, you know, and, and in the end, in the end, Conor McGregor, that's his problem. He has no balls, you know, character, character is just a, a, a more PC way of saying having balls, you know, right. he's got mm-hmm. it. Wow. Yo, you know, I remember. Hey, so I, hashtag no balls. Hashtag no, no balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I remember, I remember when, um, when he was going to be fighting Floyd and, um, you, you talked about a face that he makes. Like you could kind of tell when the bitch is about yeah, to come out. Yeah, did you see it last night? I did. I was, I, I, I was, I was going to ask you. I was going to ask yeah. you when you when saw he's it. On the ground, 
it, when he's on the ground, when he's on the ground, there was a time, I think around two, when right before Khabib started punching the shit out of him, I thought he was trying to quit right there. You see, he stopped resisting, and he was just letting Khabib pee off on him, uh-huh. and he stopped. He didn't, even, he didn't even throw, like, a kick up. Like, you got your legs up in the air. Like, it's just, just kind of kick up with the bottom of your feet, bro. Kick him in his chest. Get him off you, you know? Like, he was just hoping the referee would stop it there, you know? Uh-huh. He did that, and then around four, again, I mean, he... He got, he got smashed down. I think in round two when he got smashed to the ground. Mm-hmm. And then in round four when he got brought down. And he's like, he's kind of saying like, oh, shit. You know, because you know when you're on the ground with Khabib, now you're not getting up anymore. You know, so <laughs> he, when he, the, instant, the instant he goes down around four, you see that bitch face. And I was like, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Again, sure as the, sure as the. Sure as the sun will come up, bro. The, the bitch is gonna come out of that guy. <laughs> wow, wow, that's crazy, that's crazy. Yo, just just uh, the the part about um, the the little scuffle, the riot that took took place after the fight. Mm-hmm. When you're in there fighting, like when a fight is over, do the do the emotions just like are are you still on a high then? Like are you uh, still like yeah go yeah, ahead. yeah you're still on a, you're still on a high, but. I think, you know, unless guys have been extra disrespectful, it's usually over, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. but McGregor has that way about him, you know? And, and and I think that's why a lot of these bitch-ass fans like him, you know? Because he's 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 not a nice person, and he's kind of the guy that they wish they could be, but they're too pussy to become, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so they think, like, they so they think the act that he puts on is actually somebody that they can't beat. When in reality, he's just like them. He's just as much bitch as they are, you know? Mm-hmm. So, but But he plays this act, this facade, like he's more man, like he's superhuman, like he's got more balls, like he's got all this. So they've like they've become automatically they're inclined to be like, wow, this guy's like everything I want to be. No, no, he's actually not anything you want to be. He's just he's just a good actor. He's actually everything you are already. You're a bitch, and he's a bitch. You know mm. that's why you guys kind of magnetize to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. this, to like this guy after all this, he's got no character. He's got no balls. He's disrespectful. He's not a role model. He's 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 a shit person. Um, it, there, there's actually no redeeming qualities. I'm trying to find the redeeming quality for the guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's, if, if if you're looking for a redeeming quality, you're not gonna find it. If you want to kiss his ass or suck his dick, sure, you'll you know you'll make something up for him. You know, mm. but 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 in reality, there's not a, there's not a redeeming quality the guy has. You know, and on top of it, he's a bitch too. Like, if you're at least like a powerful person, like you know, in ancient history, they've been very evil kings. You know, they were they ruled the world, but. You know, I, you know, what are you gonna do? They were they were powerful. You know, you couldn't do anything about them even if they were evil. Right. Like this guy's a, this guy's a shit bag and he's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. and he gets there swooped every other fight or so. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's, he's combat he's combat sport. Like how much do you you're 30 years old, bro? Like how, you, you're combat sports official pinata at 30 years old, bro? I won my second world title at 31. Like this this guy this guy just this guy already became like a like a has been at 30 years old. That's what wow. he that's he ever was really. You know, he he overhyped himself and they sold him well. And the UFC made him more of them than he was, and that's that's more of the gullibleness of MMA fans than it is to anything he did, you know. But but really, you know, he's just a, a loudmouth, overhyped bum. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, okay, maybe bum was going too far. He's just decent. But you know, it's it's you know, how, compared to what they were marketing him as, marketing him as. Look at him. Look at the result you got. Like, all he does is get his ass whooped, no matter what, by everybody. Like, he became the designated pinata. He goes to boxing, he gets his ass whooped. He goes to MMA, he gets his ass whooped. He goes to the gym, he gets his ass whooped. He, the fight ends, he's still getting his ass whooped. You know, like, uh, his posse, his crew in his corner gets their ass whooped, too. Like, like you made a mockery of yourself, bro. Everybody beats the fuck out of you and everybody involved with you. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's wow. A joke. Yo, is that is that good or bad, like, the trash talk that he does? And don't get me wrong, I, I, I do like some trash talk when it comes to fighting. Like, I do like that, but listen, it does, I, does he I, take I it over mind, the top? I don't mind the, yes, listen. Do what you have to do, okay? Mm. Do what you have to do. But just understand, when you take it to a certain level, there are repercussions, mm. okay? Now, and you now have to man up and deal with those repercussions. Mm. Khabib Nakamedov last night was ready to make Conor pay for the past six months to a year, maybe even more, okay? Mm. Every, from the bus incident all the way to this fight, Khabib was waiting for last night to happen. Mm. Everybody was talking shit. All these kind of bitches. Well, he look his body language. You know, he looks like he's scared. He's not reacting. Bro, Eastern Euros are stoic, ice in their veins, killers, bro. You are not gonna de- fuck with them like that on an emotional level. They're always like that. Be it in boxing, mixed martial arts. I've got too much experience having dealt and watched them. They're just, they're just a different level of human being as far as combat is concerned. You know. Mm. So when he got in there last night. When he got in there last night, okay, deal with it now. You you talked all that shit. You gotta do what you gotta do to win the fight, okay? You gotta mm-hmm. do what you gotta do to win the fight. And sometimes if that's if that's your uh, your your mental game, go for it. You know, maybe it's, it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. Maybe you'll become some people's cup of tea. 
Connor became so out there that, you know, he became a lot of people's cup of tea. Mm. But just know, just know you got to have an extra pair of balls in your pocket when you do that because <laughs> you're going to get pushed up. You're going to get put to, pushed against the wall a lot more because people are going to want to punish you a lot more. Mm-hmm. And so you are the opposite. Is that, instead of having an extra pair of balls, you have no balls at all. <laughs> so you can't come with that kind of disrespect and then have no balls. Otherwise, you're just a punk. Mm. That's, a, that's a punk. You know, that's, that's a, a bully slash punk. You know, like, you can't come with that love of deal. Do what you got to do to win the fight. Get in people's heads. He, I think Aldo came out a little too fast, honestly. I think uh, Connor was in his head. Mm-hmm. You know, but kind of, Aldo was also 175 years old, you know? So, I mean, mm-hmm. really, what, what, was that a, what does that accomplishment really mean? Mm-hmm. You know, but, but really, you can do all that. I don't, I don't personally, I'm not crazy about it. But listen, I've been involved in a lot of trash talk in my career, too. So it's not like I can, I can judge for the trash talk. I'm not judging for the trash talk. Right. I'm judging, I'm judging for, okay, bro. You put all your chips forward now. You put all that trash talk. You even threw glass through the bus. You put him on the spot. You talked about his family, his government, everything. You pushed all your chips forward. Now you got to be a man. You can't turn bitch when push comes to shove. Once you <laughs> sign that check, your ass has to cash it. Mm. And that's why, that's why, when I talk about how much of a bitch this guy is, that was my problem. If he wasn't this kind of person... Having no balls, hey, listen, not every fighter has balls. You know, some guys get in there, they have more balls than others, whatever. So to a certain point, everybody has balls getting in there, obviously. But some fighters have a lot less balls than others. Conor McGregor is probably some of the smallest pair of balls in, 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 a, in a pause, in, 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 a, uh, in, M- in MMA and, and boxing. But, but you know, <laughs> he's, he, he's, regardless, regardless, you can't come with that kind of trash talk, that kind of level of trash talk, and then – Fold like that. You, you're not. You're not responsible for it. It's like I said, I I I got into a big trash talking thing with the, the Miguel Cotto fight. You know, like mm-hmm. a lot of trash talking. Well, when I was in there suffering and 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 fighting against a guy that I have a ton of respect for now. You know, and at the time I just wanted to be a world champion. And I was going to do what I was going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I decided. You know what? I got myself into this mess, bro. I got to fight here. You mm-hmm. know, I don't have. I don't have an option. To, to, to bow out of this fight. I, I got to fight here because I, I talked my way into this. I got to fight here. Mm-hmm. Like, you, once you do that, once you do that, you have a responsibility to live up to it. Otherwise, you're a bitch to the hundredth power. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're, you're a total punk. Yeah, and, and you're going to get punked. And he deserved to get punked last night. Like, the way he got punked, I'm sorry. Everything that he did, he had it coming to him. I'm sorry to tell I'm sorry to break it to you. Because all you guys that were out there talking about, oh, he protected that pussy law ball, you know, that's where he came and threw the glass through, through the through the gate, through the glass of the of the bus. No, he didn't. He didn't protect anybody, bro. Because if he wanted to really deal with Khabib, he would have went to the hotel that time. But mm-hmm. he, he was about the camera. He was about the show. He didn't actually want to get in Khabib's face because he knew what happened last night was going to happen six months ago. So he didn't want to deal with any of that. You know, Khabib obviously didn't want to deal with it six months ago because he was getting ready for a fight and he was getting ready to win the title that, that Connor had been stripped of because he was used to fight Khabib. So if Khabib gets injured on fight week, guess what? Khabib can't win the title on fight week, you know? So... So it's no longer fight week at that point if he gets injured. So, so you know, he played it all well except one problem. He let his ego get in the way because you don't fight Khabib Nagamedov if you're Conor McGregor. You, 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 you've got too many people fooled. Just like he fooled everybody in, 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 in my sparring session with the couple of clips, second clips. There's no way he can fight me because then the truth comes out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He let his ego get in the way of him with, with Khabib. The truth would come out only if you fight him. But you have enough bitches on your side that actually would have thought you would have beat Khabib rather easily. Mm. So you could have let that you could have let that myth live in their minds for life. And you could have retired on your happy on your merry way. Mm-hmm. But that's where he fucked up. He let a deal get in the way and he got in the cage and got the shit beat out of him. And not just shit beat out of him, he got fucking he got the bitch boy out of him. Because it's like I said, you can get your ass whooped and go out like a man and I'll still respect you. I'll always respect you. I thought God he was actually my favorite fighter. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You can go out like a bitch. You go out like a bitch, though, you, you, you throw it all away. You go out like a bitch, though, and, and time and again, it's not like it's the only time. Time and again, anytime this guy has, has to face adversity, he's a total pussy. And he's a total bitch. And I said it from the very, very start. I saw it in the gym already, how much of a pussy this guy was. And, I, and when you see it in the, in the, in the depths of, of no, away from the crowd, away from everything, you know once the crowd and the lights are on, if, she, if adversity hits, he's definitely going to bitch up. Because if he's bitching up in the gym, without a doubt, he's going to bitch up under the lights. But it's even worse when you. What's even worse when you're under pressure under the lights.